Okay, now we're going to set an on spark torque limiter. Okay, this is the demo unit which has been cut away and as you can see you've got a series of springs and ball bearings and plates. There's a screw inside under here which actually pushes the plate down and puts more pressure on the spring to vary your torque. So the ball should slip over and the springs compress. So the tighter that screw is in, the more torque you will need to make it slip. We're now going to set this one to 50 newton meters. Firstly, we undo the locking nut and back it off a bit. And then we need to adjust this screw either further in or out to make the adjustment. In-house, we actually use a digital torque wrench. So I have an adaption to fit so we can accurately set them for you. So the torque wrench has been set. A Newton meters 50. Currently we are at about 26, therefore I need to screw the unit in quite a bit. A little bit of trial and error and just keep testing. 50.6. You will get slight variations, especially with something brand new. 49.3. 48.2. So extremely close, but we'll just tweak it slightly and check it again. Fifty point oh two, forty-nine point six. Okay, I'll now remove our adapter and the final process just lock up the nut and it has been set to the customer's specification. It's best to hold the central screw as you lock it, make sure we don't get any variation. And the job has been done. Mm -hmm.